with Corey Vitarelli coming off a big win over the Bandits. It's two in a row. The team's back at 500. You know, what does that mean, this back-to-back -back weekend, to even the record up? Well, I mean, it's huge. Uh, you know, back-to-backs are normally pretty hard, but, uh, you know, we knew we had the opportunity to get back to 500, and, you know, this was by far, you know, our best across so far, and we were definitely happy to get the two wins. The offense, the 35 goals in the last two games, I think it was 39 in the first four. Uh, what is going right, you know, now, recently, you guys have been able to put these big numbers up? Uh, you know, it's just sort of burying our chances, and everyone's involved moving the ball, and when we do that, we'll be successful. But, I mean, at the same time, obviously, to score that many goals is good, but our defense has been awesome, and Dino's stepped up too, so it's an entire team kind of effort. Okay. Can you talk about the, you know, the back-to-back -back having to ride the bus up? Um, you know, a lot of the guys are saying it was a good team bonding experience, but was there any, any noticeable, uh, you know, wear and tear from, you know, sitting on the bus that long and coming off the second game? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not ideal, but, you know, it's always nice to spend some time with your teammates. I mean, we really don't see each other, see each other too often, but, I mean, you kind of deal with the adversity, and the bus ride, if anything, was, it was all right. It's something, I guess, you deal with in this league, but, I mean, the guys, we all had a good time, and it was all fun. And, you know, we we're pretty fortunate that we played so early yesterday, so it worked out well. Mm -hmm. I think you had five goals tonight. You know, yourself turning into a human highlight reel. You know, you just, what do you see on those kind of shots, you know, what to, you know, to convince yourself to take that kind of behind the back shot or something like that? Uh, you know, just kind of take the shot that's there. You know, any guy in our team, we, every guy still talented. So, I mean, I'm lucky that shots like that seem to go in for me. And, I mean, I hope it continues. But, I mean, our offense, you know, I, we just roll and everyone can do that. And, they, and then uh, can you talk about, you know, is it a little bit of a, a motivator when you see them have to pull out Cosmo to, to put in uh, Wagger? Does it help you guys to, to get, you know, going a little bit harder, you know, try to try to, you know, mess with their goalie's mindset? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, you, you know, it's a Cosmo's a top-notch goalie, and when they pull him, I mean, it's obviously, you know, they're looking for a change of momentum, so we will, you know, we say let's, you know, pick it up and get one here, so yeah, I think that's just for pretty much any time, any, anyone pulls a, a goalie like that. Now you guys have this, you know, big weekend, two big decisive wins. How do you use this, uh, this uh, the motivation and the momentum you guys have going into next week hosting Buffalo again? You know what, it's, it's going to obviously be a different game next weekend, but just take the positives and, you know, we were lucky there was a lot from this weekend and, and just try to build on that. Thanks, of course.